Gordy Gorilla and the Giant Piñata. Do you know what a piñata is? No. Piñatas are made out of paper mache and they're hollow and very colorful. People fill them up with candy and then hang them from a rope and then all the children get to take turns one at a time. Blindfolded, they have to try and hit it with a bat and break it open. And when they break it open, all the candy and toys and games spill out and all the kids get to run and catch them. And they get to keep whatever they pick. So everybody runs and picks the candy. So this is Gordy and the Giant Piñata. Gordy was looking through his book of crafts and he came to a book called Paper Mache Projects. Gordy loved doing things with paper mache. He had made a paper mache mask one time. Mask? <clears throat> yep, and a little paper mache bowl and other things out of paper mache. A paper mache mask for virus? No, not that kind of oh. mask. The kind of mask that goes around your eyes and looks scary. You know, like a monster mask. Oh. Or a bunny mask. No, a silly mask. Yes, yeah, not the kind that's real, not real masks. So, <clears throat> so Gordy looked through his book and he saw a paper mache pinata. It was so colorful and it looked like a little donkey and it was all different colors, bright. Gordy asked mommy how they made it so colorful and how it looked so different. Like mommy that? said, they take tissue paper, colorful tissue paper, yes, once the paper mache it. is done, it's already dyed, they buy different colors, and they just glue the different colors on. So, Gordy said, oh, I want to make one of these, it's so pretty, and then I can fill it up with candy and hide it. It can be like my secret hiding place. Mommy said, well, usually they break them open at parties. Do you want to break one open with, with them, baby Melody, at a birthday? No, said Gordy. I just want mine hanging in my room, and I'm going to use it as a secret treasure place and hide things in it. Good idea, I said Mommy. I can see the donkey, but I can't see what's in the donkey. Gordy made layers and layers of paper mache. For the donkey's body, he had an oval balloon. For the legs, Gordy had saved for a long time um, kitchen roll tubes or paper towel tubes when Mommy had finished the paper towels on them. So he cut them in half so they were a little bit shorter and put them there and then covered them all with paper mache. He was actually just dipping long strips of newspaper in a starchy, watery, gluey um, mixture. And then putting them on layer after layer, sticking everything together, sticking the balloon mm -hmm. to the legs, sticking the legs to the body, sticking the neck to the body, sticking the head and ears to the neck. Gordy had finished it. It was the ugliest donkey he'd ever seen because it was just all made out of boring newspaper. I can't wait for it to dry, said Gordy, and then it'll be so pretty once I put all of the extra um, I see one of colorful in tissue paper in the shop. Mm -hmm. Why don't we buy it? Mm, because we don't need it. Gordy made a little tiny hole on one side of the pinata. After it had dried, he cut open the hole. Actually, he cut it out of the belly of the donkey. And then he said, good, now I can hide things inside the belly and then cover it up again. I'll make a special door with tissue paper so nobody can see that there's a hole there. And that's what he did. He cut out lots of brown tissue paper into strips to make the donkey's hair. And he cut out some colorful um, yellow and green to put around where the saddle would be on the donkey. He made it a proper a saddle. Uh huh. He made a proper decorated donkey. It was a brown, brownie gray donkey with colorful um, strips of paper around where the saddle would be. What saddle? 
A saddle is this thing you put on top of a horse to ride on it. It's like a little chair that oh, sits there. The seat. Yes, the seat. The saddle is called the. He just called the saddle. <laughs> yes. Not the saddle. Gordy had it all finished. It was beautiful, and baby Melody definitely wanted to play with it every time she came to Gordy's room. But he said, no, you'll break it. It's very fragile. Gordy decided to make baby Melody a little tiny one. He made a little teeny tiny donkey just the size of his hand so she could carry it around with her if she wanted, and she wouldn't want Gordy's donkey. She loved it. Baby Melody carried it everywhere with her, and she didn't even break it. She was so careful with it because she loved it so much. Gordy thought this is the best way to do things for a little baby sister. Just make two of everything, and then she'll be happy and not want mine. It was an excellent idea. Now, um, what was I? Ah, uh, yes. Gordy picked out the things that he wanted to put as treasures. He picked out some coins. He picked out some colorful um, sea glass. He picked out some rings. Rings? Plastic rings that he had found places that were like little treasures to him. And a pair of sunglasses that he had found at the beach. He put them all inside and then covered it up with a tissue paper. You couldn't even tell. It was properly hidden. Gordy thought it was a very nice addition to his room and he loved doing craft things. Daddy thought it looked good as well. And so did baby Melody. Gordy thought it would be nice to do one piñata every month. Then they would have 12 at the end of the year, and then he wouldn't mind breaking one of them open at a party if he had more than um, one. And that was the end of the story. <laughs>